uh, we always warned you on this YouTube channel that what is happening with Julian Assange will not end with Julian Assange and that it is only the beginning of a big push by government to punish anyone telling the truth about them. And sadly, we have been vindicated with many stories coming out right now of an insane case from Australia where the police have raided a mainstream media journalist in a heavy-handed intimidation scheme trying to personally damage, defame this young woman who through her investigative work discovered how the Australian government wanted to spy more on its citizens without them knowing it. A story that of course the Australian government denied, said, ah, it's foolish to even think that this would happen. Well now, their aggressive actions have proved them to be utterly correct. We're going to get into this because again, the details of the situation are utterly insane and something that needs our at most attention right now in order to preserve our basic human right and dignity of being able to speak the truth, which sadly there's a big movement by governments to of course criminalize, which we will go over in this video. And before we do that, just wanted to remind everyone in this very dangerous time and day, your privacy, your anonymity is directly linked to your freedom and sovereignty. And that's why I strongly recommend people sign up on the Brave browser. I've set one up myself and have already saved 42 minutes with having close to 50,000 ads blocked, 673 trackers blocked from my online activity with just using this within the last past, what is it, two weeks? While at the same time earning cryptocurrencies for simply using this privacy focused platform as my web browser. Again, I have no official link to Brave, but I do have an affiliate code that anyone could sign up with and at the same time will be rewarding themselves and a small portion of it will reward this independent media broadcast. And I couldn't think of a better relationship than, of course, to promote Brave, which, of course, if you're interested in, you could simply just click the link down below in the description and use it yourself. With, of course, no cost to you at all. And honestly, I'm not chilling for this thing. It's something that I honestly, genuinely liked using. Now, regardless of that, there have been two massive raids by the state authorities in Australia against journalism. Specifically, Anika Smanthurst, who is the national political editor at the Sunday Telly, Herald Sun, Sunday Mail, as well as the offices of ABC News in Australia that were raided by, of course, government authorities. Two separate raids, of course, related to each other, all because of a news report alleging Again, this is important here, alleging that there was some kind of leak of classified information, all because of a news report that Anika published 401 days ago, suggesting that Australia's surveillance agency, the Australian Signals Directorate, was seeking to broaden its powers to spy on Australian citizens without their knowledge. A news report that the Australian authorities called, quote, the worst example of ill-informed reporting <laughs> regarding home affairs, denying the initial report, but now using that as justification for this alleged leaking of classified information, which made them open up an investigation and get a warrant that allowed them to quote add copy delete or even alter computer files at the ABC news organization which they raided not so shortly after raiding this journalist's house where they also you know just just rummaged through her underwear in a seven hour raid if this isn't gangster intimidation tactics I don't I don't know I don't know what is because this is just straight up criminal heavy-handed thugs who are trying to intimidate anyone standing against their business of extorting the population of Australia. Now the head honcho of this criminal organization, the, the prime minister of this extortion racket, officially declined to comment on this matter a number of times but said quote, it's an ongoing matter for the AFP. The AFP by the way is the intelligence quote agency by, of Australia who's really doing all of these raids because they have been exposed here saying quote again they're the best to comment on that matter i support the powers that the agencies have under our laws again that's the comment by the prime minister which again just shows you pure corruption abuse of power and criminal behavior exemplified 
by these individuals. Again, this mainstream media journalist that actually reported on something that mattered. Again, this mainstream media journalist exposed how the Australian intelligence agency wanted and called for powers to monitor emails, bank accounts, and text messages of all Australians, whether guilty or not of any criminal, similar to a Chinese system of the social credit score where you have a track, trace, and database system that doesn't want people knowing about Tiananmen Square, which has worked out wonderfully, right? Being sarcastic here, obviously, of course, but essentially, this is what the Australian government wants. They want a system where they know everything about every individual, and we could see how detrimental that could be to human society to human freedom with the example of China, which Australia is copying, which is trying to emulate, which is trying to move in the same direction as they are. And this journalist is saying, hey, they're proposing to do this. And of course, the person going against them is being punished. Here's even a photo of the slithery snake government employees with purple gloves and suits on ramaging through this poor lady's kitchen right now, obviously treating her as a criminal for telling the citizens of her country the bigger truths about the government that the government does not want out there. It is plain as day. This is exactly what this is all about. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe this would be happening if it wasn't for the case of Julian Assange, who right now is sitting in jail, who is very ill, who may not even make it out of jail because of his health condition that has been worsened by the harsh treatment he is getting for also publishing information that the government did not want. He's facing 170 years because of the U.S. government trying to extradite him for, again, espionage charges, which are similar charges that the Australian authorities are accusing this journalist of also doing. And again, these raids are happening because of a, quote, potential crime. And what we're essentially looking at here is not just intimidation against a journalist telling the truth, but more specifically, what we're looking at here is criminalizing telling the truth. Whistleblowers in our society should be praised, should be helped, should be supported, should be promoted, should be looked up to as heroes and individuals trying to make our society, our government, our way of life better by telling us the truth about the situations, not the PR talking points and lies that are shoved down our throats by special interests in order to control us like cattle. We have to understand the individuals who are leaking information, they're not doing it for fame. They're not doing it for money. Right now, the, the chilling effect is if you tell the truth about what your government is doing, you will be punished for it severely. Chelsea Manning is in jail right now. And that's a society that I don't want to live in because it incentivizes the worst forms of bureaucracy, the worst forms of government that could exist. Secretive, non-transparent, illegal government that is above the law and acts like they are the supreme lord and commander god of you, the peasant. That's all essentially what's happening here. And it's happening at a dangerous, dangerous level because it's slowly happenings. First, we have Chelsea Manning. Then, of course, we have Julian Assange. Now, of course, we have this Australian journalist. We had a similar case in San Francisco just unfold a couple days ago. Luckily, the police, because of the public scrutiny in the San Francisco case, another very similar case where the police came into a sledgehammer to a journalist's home because he published information that made the police and, and a certain individual look bad. That particular case got cleared up because of, again, public attention. It's our eyes, it's our ears, it's our own consciousness that pays attention to this, raising the alarm bells that actually prevents them from overstepping and overreaching their power. And they have already done so in massive ways. And that's why it's so important to have actual independent media that could report on this honestly and get the word out there. Because if it's not us, I don't believe it's going to be them. Because as we documented, many intelligence agencies and special interests of course dictate the agenda of the mainstream media that of course just like this particular case here in the united states right now is pushing one-sided biased propaganda nonsense calling for more independent creators to be banned silenced and censored which they have effectively done in some ways here in the united states again more 
caring about their activism, trying to slight the other side on across the political aisle, rather than, of course, care about the essential, important things like liberty and freedom. Our ignorance, our acquiescence, our ignorance to the subject matter is crucially important for state authorities and thugs and powerful special interests to get away with their crimes, and it will be the freedom of information, knowledge, courage to speak truth to power that will defeat them. That's my take on it. Please share this video to get the word out there about what's happening in Australia, because again, it is not separate from what is happening all over the world with the big push to criminalize truth tellers in our society. If you think I'm wrong, let me know why in the comment section below. And once again, always thank you so much for being here on an independent media broadcast that is supported and run by you, the viewer. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.